All right, I will be doing my second my second speech. This one is on self-leadership and the one-minute manager. My daughter is in the picture. She is under 18, but she is not included in my five. Thanks. All right, this one is going to be on self-leadership and the one-minute manager. It's a part of a trilogy that was written in 2005 by Ken Blanchard, Susan Fowler, Lawrence Hopkins. It's a pretty priceless set that leads people to find their own empowerment. So if you were to go into the hospital for surgery and say the receptionist that just checked you in comes down to do your surgery after you've had the cook bring you your food, the nurses check your heart rate and blood pressure, she comes in and says, I'm here to do your surgery. That is not right. That is not her place. That's not her position. That's the surgeon's position. Okay? So I'm going to tell you how you... <coughs> And everybody around you, everybody has the ability to become a self-leader by simply knowing who holds what positions, what motivates each person to do their job, and you put that all together and you can bypass any kind of constraints that you may have by simply working together. There's a few things you need to know. First, you need to know the five basic points of power. There is a, p a power of position, a power of knowledge, a power of task, power of relationship and personal power. They all have something different. The church, the pastor, has the position power because he's over everybody else. The taskmaster would be the secretary, the financial advisor, anybody who can keep things running in line, the receptionist. Uh, personal power would be the salesperson at a car lot. The, not, the power of knowledge would be in the mechanic who fixes the car at the car lot. And then you have your relationship power. You're either related to somebody who owns the company or another company you're trying to get, get through to. They can help you because they'll probably get more information than you would be able to get out just being an employee. Their leaders, the authors of self-leadership and the one-minute manager state, how can you lead yourself if you don't realize that you have sources of power? Everyone has different types of power in their lives and work. We each have motivation. We are each motivated by something different. Some people are motivated by money. If you get paid well, you do your job well. If you get bonuses coming up, you do your job better. My three-year-old is motivated by chocolate. If I want him to clean something, I have to offer him chocolate or candy. My five-year-old wants money. My seven-year-old daughter wants hugs and kisses and loves and time spent. So we're all motivated by different things. So I want you to think about what your coworkers are motivated by, but you'll only know that if you ask them. So in the second chapter, the authors point out, the point is our bosses are not mind readers. How in the world can we expect them to understand what motivates each of us? Well, what did I just tell you? You ask them. You simply ask them, what motivates you? Why are you here? So now that you know how to figure out what motivates people, and you know what certain person, personal powers are, you can recognize what you're missing, and you can move past your constraints by incorporating them, asking them for help. Who knows how to speak in front of people? Well. You can't. You ask a person who has spoken in front of people before. Who knows how to fix your car when you don't? You go ask them for help. The book states, it's amazing, but human beings love to feel needed. They love to think they can help you. This is so true. The authors of Self-Leadership and the One Minute Manager sum it up with this statement. Ultimately, it's in your own best interest to accept responsibility for getting what you need to succeed in the workplace. Um, the pastor. He knows who crunches numbers, organizes well, who motivates people to get things done, who's good with the children, who's the jack of all trades to make the repairs. This, knowing all of this, knowing who holds which position, he knows how to make his church run efficiently because he has learned the power of self-leadership comes from the power of putting all those works together and they work synonymously as a whole. Thank you very much.